Okay, we've reached the fourth video in this uh, little series looking at the market for electric cars. And uh, we thought we'd finish with a little exercise uh, looking at changing supply and demand factors and to see if you understand some of the market dynamics. So here we go. We've got seven, I think there's seven, seven factors in the market for electric vehicles. And uh, your little task, your challenge is to think about whether they cause a shift in supply or demand and then the likely direction of the change in the market price for electric vehicles. So this is a great chance just to press the pause button, maybe take a screenshot, put it into your notes. Seven factors for electric vehicles listed down the left-hand side there. Take a few moments to work your way through and then we'll go through the answers together. So here we go. Seven factors in the market for electric vehicles, EVs. Uh, which, which curve shifts? Supply and demand, which way? What's going to happen to the market price? The first one is an increase in the buyers in the global price of lithium. Lithium iron used in making electric batteries. What do you think is going to happen to the market? Well, I'll just shift over to my little answer grid here. I would suspect on the right hand side here that supply would shift. It will be an inward shift uh, leading to a higher price. S2 uh, is the new supply curve because, of course, batteries are a key component in the supply cost of getting an electric vehicle to market. What about our second factor? The UK government brings forward a ban on new petrol diesel cars by five years. So regulatory intervention, a legal intervention by the government. What do we think is going to happen? Well, I think it'll be a shift, an outward shift, in fact, in demand. Let's say at D2. I'm not too worried about the quantities here. I'm worried about the price. What's going to happen to the price? So other things being the same, that could cause the price to rise to P3 with a uh, leading on from the previous uh, diagram, higher price, outward shift of market demand. Data shows an expanding size of the market for used vehicles. Well, if people uh, are thinking of buying a new electric car, if they know there's a good second-hand market, they know they're going to get a, a decent used price at some point in the future. And I would th also think that would be a demand side factor because there's less risk for buyers of new vehicles. Effectively, the replacement cost goes down because you can sell your electric vehicle for a good price in the, in the used car market. Factor number four, increased competition between and lower prices offered by charging station network providers. So let's assume here that our network of charging stations increases and competition means the cost of a half an hour charge goes down. What do you think of factor there? I, I think that's again a demand side factor. Charging is a complement, essential part of course, of uh, buying an electric vehicle. So if charging costs go down, that should increase demand for new vehicles. Again, an outward shift of demand price would tend to go up. Three to go. The UK government cuts the consumer subsidy or offer when buying new cars. I think initially, the British government was offering something like £3,000 direct subsidy per new car bought. Let's say that comes down by a 1000 or £2,000. Well, that's a shift in demand again. And in theory, that would bring the price of cars down because there's less demand. Fewer people can afford to buy an EV if the subsidy goes down, certainly in the short term. Two more factors. A strong exchange rate. Let's say the pound against the dollar or the pound goes up against the euro. A strong exchange rate cuts the cost of importing vehicles into the UK. What do you think the impact on the market is? Well, my instinct is that it would cause an outward shift in supply. You see cars come in, a lot of cars come into the UK from overseas. So if the pound is strong, the cost of importing those cars goes down. That's going to increase the supply of cars at a given price because imported cars have become cheaper. And in theory, that should bring down the price in the market. Our last factor, Nissan and Mini Electric announced plans to build new giant assembly plants for their manufacturing of electric cars. Impact, my instinct that would cause an increase in supply. Again, another factor bringing the price down. Investment will increase the long-run supply capacity in the market and therefore reduce the price overall. If you've got all seven, congratulations. You, you clearly understand the market. 
electric vehicle industry is is a hugely important one, I think, to follow when keeping up to speed with all the economics and the business news. Here's a few headlines. Uh, we've looked at the market from a supply and demand perspective in, in a series of videos, but you can also analyze it from a, a cost, a revenue, a profit perspective using year two, year 13 analysis diagrams. And we'll do that in a, in a future video on the industry. Electric car sales double in August in 2020, suggesting the market is still pretty strong. Foxconn, Taiwanese company, accelerates vehicle drive with a new tech platform. Uh, big investments, VW has pledged to pour 15 billion euros into the Chinese electric car market. Japan leads the battery tech race with a third of patent filings as they try to fast forward the search for improved energy efficiency and reduced battery supply costs. There's loads of things going on in this market. So this is a fantastic market to study from a supply and demand perspective. Okay, if you've reached the end of our fourth video, well done on, on this little playlist. Hopefully you now have a great little mini case study to use in your microeconomics. Take care and see you soon.